Hi guys, this is the first devlog for the game Sky Harvest I have been developing. This devlog is all about how I created this gorgeous looking main menu for the game by using just free assets. After making a character controller, I wanted to do something which is comparatively easy. So I thought about creating a main menu for the game as this is the first thing player will be experiencing after launching the game. I wanted a main menu which easily show the theme the game is based upon. That is floating farms and the city underneath. Also main menu has to be compatible with mouse, keyboard and gamepad controller. Now sit tight and let me just quickly show you all the free assets I downloaded and how I used them to get this result. You can also check the description of this video to get the assets for your own project. After opening the Unity Asset Store, I began my search by looking up for free nature assets. The very first result matched the cartoon art style I was looking for. After this, I got a nice looking 3D character, some free humanoid animations, and last but not the least, a pack of gardening tools. I made a decent looking title inside the Photoshop. I wasn't sure how this grass will look, so I disabled it for now. Then I imported everything separately inside the Unity. First thing I did was to add the cartoon skybox that came with the nature environment. Now I made the first UI button. Then I made a single animation for this button which will play when this button is selected. Since this button is animated, I set the transition property to animation. After this, I wrote all the respective parameters for this button to animate. These same exact parameters need to be added in the animator as well. Now I made the transitions and set the required parameters for buttons normal and selected state. If you notice, inside the normal animation's motion, I added the selected animation but with a speed of minus 2. After this, I duplicated this button a few more times. Then, I played the game to make sure everything works as intended. After this, I renamed all the remaining UI buttons so that it will make sense which button is for what. Now it was finally time to add the background terrain inside the scene. I opened the demo scene that came with the nature environment. Then I carefully selected the required terrain and prepared it to add inside my own game. So my game was looking like this. And then, boom, like this. Please comment down below to let me know how much you liked this transition. But that's not all guys, it was time to add the magic of post processing. After assigning the current layer inside the post process layer, I added post process volume. Guys, I have already made a post process profile which I am going to use now. 3, 2, 1, wow! This really made a huge difference. Now the scene was missing just one thing, the fog. After adding the fog, now the game looks really great. Guys, I have made a custom IK script to manage the player's hand positions. I want to place left hand on the shovel and right hand resting on his leg. This is the logic where we just override player's hand position and rotation by using Unity's inverse kinematics. Now, I will change player's motion from idle to setting animation which looks like this in the preview window. And this is how it looks in the game. Pretty cool, right? I really love playing with inverse kinematics. Let's just put his right hand like this. Please tell me in the comments where do you think he's looking at. 
So guys, that's how I completed the main menu for my game Sky Harvest, but there is still one last thing missing. Oh yes, how can you call yourself a farmer if you don't have a trusty companion on your side? Guys, please tell me in the comments what do you think we should name this new friend. I will pin the comment with the best name and use that in the final game, I promise. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you want to see the previous devlog where I created a character controller with flying ability, you can check it out via the link in the description. Also, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel to keep up with the progress and never miss a future devlog. Next devlog will be coming very soon.